Can a trivial misstatement threshold save you time in your audits? The answer is yes. So let me explain. Let's say that you and I are doing an audit. Your materiality is $100,000. Performance materiality is $75,000. And we set the trivial misstatement threshold at $5,000. Now, there's no magical formula for computing the trivial misstatement threshold, but you want it to be low enough where if you pass on several amounts less than that threshold, that they don't accumulate into a material amount. So in this illustration, we're using $5,000. And let's suppose we're doing work on accounts payable. We note that there's an error of $3,000 and we don't propose an adjustment because it's less than the trivial amount. That's going to save you time. So think about it. If you did propose that adjustment, you've got to post the journal entry in your audit work papers. And then later on, you would maybe discuss this particular pr proposed adjustment with your client. And let's suppose that you had five, six, seven of these amounts less than $5,000 where you didn't use trivial misstatement and you proposed the adjustments. It's just a waste of time. So what if we have five or six adjustments, seven adjustments, less than the $5,000. They're not going to accumulate into a material amount. So by using a trivial misstatement threshold, you're saving your time. You're also <laughs> less of a nuisance to the client because you're not talking about things that don't matter. And sometimes we as auditors can bring up things with clients that don't really matter and we just irritate our clients. At the end of the day, you want to opine on the financial statements and say that they are fairly stated. By using a trivial misstatement threshold, you can pass on these small adjustments at the work paper level and not propose adjustments and still render an appropriate opinion. So use that trivial misstatement threshold in this manner, and I promise you, you'll save time in your future engagements.